The Uganda Prison Service has over the years been offering education services to willing inmates since the late 1990s as a way of rehabilitating prisoners. As a result, the Luzira Upper Prison acquired a center number to register and host candidates for different UNEB examinations. Specifically started it to help inmates to learn to write and read. According to officials, this has indeed paid off the reason they think government should increase funding to the Uganda Prison Service for more meaningful results. We cannot expand this facility, especially with growing numbers. But we are managing within the limitations. SP Ahim Siweni Komedi is the deputy officer in charge Luzira Upper Prison. They started the teaching using inmate teachers. We did not have qualified teachers from the Ministry of Education. Uh, those teachers who had some high levels of literacy than others would teach their fellow inmates basically to read and to write until when they started primary. They were not doing exams. It was only for the sake of people studying. At a certain level, I think in the, around the, the mid or late 2000s, they saw need to start doing exams and people getting certification for studying. Gilbert Nwamanya is the head teacher and the in charge of all education programs in the prison. He paints a picture of how the education service is run. We first assess the period that someone maybe had spent out of school so that we can determine which class the person can join. Because if one, let's say this is 2018 and one came in 2017 and says I was in senior two and thinks of joining this year, then we can let him join senior two or senior three. But we first conduct interviews and assess. Then those ones who feel that they can't, then we tell them which level, which class they can fit in. If they're interested, they join. If they don't, then we leave them because we don't force them. Even with the existence of government paid teachers, Nwamanya says it is important to have inmate counterparts. Mujuni Dennis is the inmate head teacher charged with the responsibility of recruiting students but also playing a coordinating role. <laughs> Aba revising and Aba easy, Gaba ministry against the Kuanga Bo, Tobacchus Walk Surawano, Gaba Somesa. Cat we wanga to value war, Fetubat Corana World Vision, we wanga stacho, but to one half a yoke walk with Yoko Somesa Kuanga to Sovola. Following a wonderful performance in the recently released Uganda Certificate of Education results, Mujuni is happy that his efforts have paid off. Bana abasaja vente ndese, guwe musara guange kubanga, bagenda kunsa soranga tuse wa wero. Ateka tona na ye, aja kunsa kubanga sena nusu jenkola. These are some of the inmates who sat and passed the 2017 Uganda Certificate of Education with flying colors. I managed its score, 20 city aggregates, division one which was not easy for me. However, I managed to succeed. But we have a criminal. We have to take a to choose her and to focus our band. We have to go to our band. We have to go to the world. So I got to have a contact with Mr. Joe. We have to have a criminal. 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 Asked about their future plans, each one of them vowed to continue pursuing their different dreams. The circumstances surrounding each and every one of us, I really faced challenges because there was nobody to stand for me as a lawyer, poor as I am. So I plan to become a lawyer so that I can serve my brothers and sisters who are under incarceration. 37-year-old Semuju Abdu started schooling inside prison. At the time of his arrest, Semuju was a mechanic and a driver. 
He claims he was wrongfully arrested and convicted, though he does not regret the experience inside the prison. Since I couldn't know you and the Tawano, Kuanga Naja on Yaro, the Andetano Kumbo Nereza, Nathan's in Funio Birunji. What the Sakura Musango Iransa Wakatunda Musonue, Echuchiakora. Remaining with less than a year to be freed, Semuju says he would like to pursue sciences and later do a professional mechanical engineering course. Semuju used this chance to appeal to his children to take education seriously, for it is the key to success. I would like to tell my children who are outside there, if you are watching me right now, I want to encourage you that you continue studying because even if you are old, you can study. And the world we are in, this world, we are in a modern world. To someone who is not educated, it may be difficult to survive. 43-year-old Benedict Virunji was the best 2017 UCE candidate with 23 aggregates in all. Having achieved this amid challenges, Virunji has a message to both schools and students who are allegedly involved in examination malpractice. So for those who cheat exams, for us, what we are facing, they don't know what is inside there. Let them cheat, they will see. They will see. For us, we have already seen. We know what it is here. So for us, we are expecting to go outside to challenge them. Let them continue cheating. For us, we don't have any problem. Birunji and colleagues are disappointed with the fact that, at the moment, science subjects have not yet been introduced at the higher level of learning inside prison. In the last year, Uganda Certificate of Education Examinations, Luzira Upper Prison Center registered 55 candidates, out of whom only two did not sit for examinations. I was taken to attend the Court of Appeal session that was held in Guru because they are prison, they are court products. So when the court says we want our products, we have to send them there. And of course, they also expect good things from court of appeal. So we cannot stop them that you first attend your examinations. Then two, uh, the, the, I mean the second one, uh, the second one was released earlier before examination period. And I think because of uh, either challenges of transport and whatever, he did not manage to come back to see these examinations. Nuwamanya says most of his candidates endure through the process and as such, cases of absentee candidates are minimal. Some of psychological torture that sometimes one is uh, in school, then he gets uh, some, some information from home that maybe the wife got uh, married to another man or maybe children are not going to school because of lack of school fees. Maybe the file is missing. So you find at the end of the day that some of those things, for those ones who are not really patient, they end up pulling out of school. But a good number, they persist and end. Officials here insist that educating inmates is the way to go, for it has proven to be the best method of rehabilitation across the globe. Dokas Kmonan Gloria Gwitavinji, UBC News.